We're here at Pena and we're talking to Trevor Higgins, coach of the Pena Panthers football team. Uh, Pena getting ready for a second round game at uh, Downs Tri Valley. Uh, coach, uh, you're coming off a, a pretty physical first round win over Oakwood. Uh, they were kind of a, a ball control team, and it sounds like uh, you were saying Tri Valley, you know, likes to, you know, they have that same mentality, not big plays, but they try to. Just keep your offense off the field, try to wear you down. Is that kind of what you're looking at? Yeah, absolutely. Um, they've got just a bunch of kids that go hard, fire off the football every single play. Um, some running backs that won't won't quit. They're not overly big. They're not overly fast. But, man, they run hard. They run tough. So our defense is going to have to stand their ground, uh, make some plays. And then offensively, you know, we're just, we just can't have any turnovers. And uh, we got to make the most of every opportunity that we have. Right. Uh, you know, a couple weeks ago, you know, finished up the regular season with a with a really big win over Vandalia. Uh, you know, take another away from Oakwood, but boy, when you come off a big win like that, I don't know. I don't know if you if maybe your kids had a little swagger. Maybe one of your players said maybe early on you had maybe a little too much swagger. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? As far as Okay, hey, we got to get back to work here. Yeah, I think you can be a little overly confident, um, but I mean, we we did not take Oakwood for granted. We knew they could have been an easily a seven and two team. They were big, they were physical, so we knew it was going to be a close game. Um, we didn't play very well, which is on us. Um, but you no, know, they came out and gave us everything that we wanted and and more. But our guys fought through. They were very resilient. They have been all year. So it'll be the same way, you know, from here on out. No matter who you have as an opponent. Um, you're going to have some ups and downs in games, and it's going to come down to all four quarters. You're not going to win it in the first or the second. You've got to play all four. Right. You know, last but not least, you know, you were at this point last year, you know, getting ready for a second round game, I think, on the road. Last year you had to go down to Anna Jonesboro. I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> just any, I don't want to say different feeling this year, but I mean, did you learn anything last year in terms of preparation or, I mean, anything like that or, you know, anything that, that okay here we are again this year anything you're going doing differently this year I don't know I, I think it's just the coaching staff taking it a lot more seriously watching a lot more film um, getting these guys more prepared that's the biggest thing for me um, for our kids it's you know that it's been a, it's been a long season but you can't think about that you got to think about what's right in front of you and this is an opportunity for them um, to make some history and, and be a, a team that gets into the third round and not just be satisfied with getting to the playoffs so you know it's just that mentality you've got to be mentally tough at this part of the year because Everybody's got some bumps and bruises and tired of getting out there every day and hitting each other. Um, but you've got to be mentally tough to be able to play this game and to be able to win deep in the playoffs. There you go. Well, hey, Coach, listen, congratulations on the, on the first round win. Good luck at Tri-Valley, and maybe and hopefully we'll be talking about uh, getting ready for round three. Yeah, hope so. Thanks a lot. Thanks, buddy.